My cell phone accidentally took a 10 minute video of my shoes yesterday. It was some pretty good footage. Today, I'm going to recap a 2016 action thriller film called Hard Target 2. In a village, there are two men. They find themselves pursued by a menacing gang armed with weapons. As events escalate, one of the men is tragically struck by an arrow, meeting a grim fate. Oddly, in the midst of this chase, no other villagers can be seen, as if they've all disappeared. Eventually, the other man learns how to evade their attackers. Rewind to six months prior. Our protagonist encounters a renowned MA fighter, Wes Baylor. Wes is considered the best in America. However, he faces an upcoming match against his close friend, Johnny. In the first round, Wes has the upper hand, but Johnny bounces back in the next, giving Wes quite the challenge. On the advice of his coach, Wes uses a tactic to incapacitate Johnny, securing the win. Tragically, Johnny never recovers from the fight, leaving Wes consumed by guilt over the loss of his dear friend. Fast forward half a year after the devastating event. Although Wes considers retiring, the memories of Johnny haunt him. He resorts to sedatives for relief, but financial struggles push him back into the world of underground fighting. An impressive victory at a luxurious hotel catches the attention of Jonah, a fight promoter, and his associate Madden. Jonah offers Wes a lucrative fighting opportunity in Myanmar. Handing over his card, he tells Wes to reach out if interested. The next day, Wes recalls a conversation with Johnny. Johnny had a dream of purchasing a beachside home with his fight earnings. Unfortunately, fate had other plans. Wes decides to realize Johnny's dream on his behalf. Resolved, he approaches Jonah, seeing this as the opportunity to make Johnny's dream come true. With newfound determination, Wes steps into Jonah's office. He was completely prepared, asserting, I'm in, but I have a small condition. I'd like my payment upfront before the entire event begins. Jonah, unfazed, nodded in agreement. Fast forwarding, Wes was en route to Myanmar, geared to meet his adversaries. Through Jonah's contacts, Wes met a military official who was completely on board. Everything was aligned for the showdown. Jonah then introduced Wes to the team of challengers, each with a unique alias. There was Esparto, the famed bullfighter from Spain. Then came Jacob and his son, Tobias, who were avid supporters of Wes. Not to be overlooked was Sophia, with her passion for hunting, and finally, Landon, the genius behind shooting games, prepared to challenge Wes. After the introductions, Wes was left baffled, inquiring, where's the arena, and who's my opponent? Jonah, with a sly smile, revealed, the arena is basically everywhere here. Your rivals are just ordinary people you've met since your arrival. Jonah then displayed the grand prize. Glistening rubies worth a staggering million dollars. He elaborated on the rules. Wes was given just a water bottle, while the hunters could choose any weapon. If Wes was captured or injured, he'd lose. However, if he crossed the boundary, he'd be crowned the winner. To emphasize, Jonah had two prisoners brought forward. They were marked, and Madden impressively shot one down with an arrow. Wes, realizing the gravity of the situation, decided to flee the precarious setup. But Jonah, his crew, and their arsenal were close behind. Jonah warned, you have exactly two minutes to hide. With limited options, Wes dived into the game, sprinting into the forest, hoping to become undetectable. Meanwhile, Jonah introduced another participant, Maduka, an avid hunter relishing the chaos. The crew was familiar with the drill. Before the chase began, Jonah laid out a stipulation. No cell phones or cameras. He wanted undivided attention from his team. With that settled, as they embarked on their pursuit, and while most headed in one direction, Maduka decided, I'll take the more scenic path. Meanwhile, Wes was relaxing by the river when he suddenly saw a dead body drifting past. The game had taken many casualties already. While he was still processing this, Maduka launched a surprise attack. Thanks to Wes's agility, he evaded it. Drawing Maduka in, Wes took advantage of the moment to deliver a powerful blow, knocking Maduka out. As dusk approached, Jonah's team was perplexed. Wes remained elusive. Landon, however, had secretly recorded the hunter's discussions with a hidden camera in his bag. Just as Wes's cover seemed secure, Madden discovered his hideout. 
Acting swiftly, Wes plunged into the river, evading his pursuers. He then found another river behind a hill, where he encountered Tha, a woman amidst a herd of elephants. On the ground lay a watch, a cherished gift from his friend Johnny. Initially skeptical of Tha, thinking she might be with Jonah, Wes soon learned she was searching for her brother, Win, who had been ensnared in this twisted game. Sympathetic to Wes's plight, Tha pledged her support, guiding him towards the forest's edge. As they journeyed, Tha revealed that her brother, a skilled fighter familiar with a mystical powder, had mysteriously disappeared. She suspected he was a victim of this cruel game, a fate shared by many locals. Conversely, Jonah seeing his hunters faltering provided them with vehicles. Additionally, he deployed a drone to track Wes, and upon spotting Tha, added her to the list of targets. Wes, realizing the danger they were in, advised Tha, there's no need to accompany me further. I've mapped out our escape. Suddenly, three hunters on motorcycles approached, ready for action. Unfazed, Wes confronted them, swiftly overpowering two. He signaled Tha to stay hidden. Seizing a motorcycle, he lured the third hunter, Sophia, away. The chase intensified with Sophia closing in on Wes. However, upon noticing a button on the motorcycle, he pressed it, releasing a spider web-like trap. Wes took aim and launched the web at Sophia, causing her to become entwined and fall off her motorcycle. Nevertheless, she quickly recovered, raining arrows down on Wes. Swift on his feet, Wes evaded the projectiles. Sophia, not to be outdone, charged with a series of martial arts techniques. Relying on his M&A training, Wes countered, delivering a powerful kick that sent Sophia sprawling away. Without hesitation, Wes raced to find Tha, eager to continue their journey. Meanwhile, Jacob and Tobias were hunting for Tha, underestimating her skills. With stealthy agility, Tha approached them from behind unnoticed. A fierce hand-to-hand -hand combat ensued. Although Tha put up a good fight, Jacob's strength proved overwhelming. As he prepared to harm Tha, his cohort Tobias refrained from intervening, disliking unnecessary violence. Enter Wes, who swiftly tackled Tobias, knocking him off balance. By the time Wes reached Tha, she had already defeated Jacob in a fierce showdown. Seeing Jacob's downfall, Jonah was livid. In his rage, he reprimanded Tobias, holding him accountable for the debacle. Then, to further his vendetta, he urged Tobias to avenge Jacob's death. Amidst the chaos, Tha grappled with guilt over her actions, but Wes consoled her, emphasizing her innocence. Seeking refuge, they located a hut where Tha attended to Wes's injuries. To invoke protection, she suggested offering prayers to a horse statue, hoping to find favor in their perilous journey. Unknown to them, Jonah had embedded a tracker in the ruby Wes possessed, explaining his relentless pursuit. The stakes escalated when Wes and Tha found themselves surrounded by mines. Ingeniously, Wes tricked Jonah and his men into the danger zone. Initially skeptical, a determined Tobias stormed towards Wes, aiming to assert himself. His attempt, however, backfired as Wes subdued him. Despite the risks, Tha remained resolute in aiding Wes to the forest's edge. Devising a strategy, she proposed that Wes take refuge in a nearby cave. Inside, they encountered a disheveled man with lengthy hair, writhing in agony. The man they stumbled upon was the same individual from the story's onset, thus estranged brother. As night descended, they nestled together in the cave, prepping for some rest. Before drifting to sleep, Tha curiously inquired about the significance of Wes's watch. He candidly revealed that it was a keepsake, reminiscent of his times with Johnny, not all of which were pleasant. Tha comforted Wes, assuring him of a fresh start the next day and her commitment to helping him reach the border. However, sleep wasn't peaceful for Wes. He was haunted by nightmares, reliving the anguish over Johnny's demise. Tha acted as a pillar, emphasizing that Johnny's fate was a tragic accident and not Wes's fault. Elsewhere, Jonah and his hunters also sought some reprieve. Before drifting off, Jonah unveiled the origins of the twisted game. In his earlier days, he was a CIA operative. Following some complications, he found himself outcast from the agency. Fatefully, he encountered a general with myriad abilities. Rather than let these powers go to waste, Jonah initiated the game where individuals became moving targets. 
Over time, affluent individuals joined in, pouring in investments. Dawn broke, and Wes awoke to find Tha and her brother missing. They had been captured by Jana and were being cruelly tortured on the railway tracks to extract information on Wes's whereabouts. Spotting Landon distracted, Wes sprang into action, holding him hostage and demanding Jonah's location. At the tracks, Wes leveraged Landon as a bargaining chip, forcing Jonah to release Tha and her brother. Without hesitation, he instructed them to flee. Determined to hold off Jonah's men, Wes squared off against them. Sophia, intrigued by Wes's whereabouts, approached. Unexpectedly, Tha pushed her brother to safety, indicating her unresolved conflict with Sophia. The two women engaged in fierce combat, trading blows. The showdown was intense, but Tha stood firm, eventually defeating Sophia. Meanwhile, Wes executed his own escape strategy, eluding Jonah by diving into a nearby river. Upon reaching the riverbank, he reunited with Tha and Wen, spotting a camera Landon had previously stolen. The footage on the camera revealed damning evidence of Jonah's illicit activities, ripe for public exposure. Holding the camera, Wes confronted Tha and Wen, seeking answers as to why they took his ruby despite his trust. Tha, regretful, handed back the ruby, explaining her intention to sell it to counter the general's threats and safeguard the community. Wes chose to forgive, under the stipulation that they ensure his safe passage to the border. Suddenly, Madden discovered the camera and informed Jonah. Chaos ensued as Jonah realized the camera's memory card, containing incriminating evidence, was missing. If that footage leaked, everyone involved faced potential incarceration. Enraged, Jonah vented his anger on Landon, ending his life. This reduced their hunter ranks to just one, the Spanish matador, Espardo. However, Espardo discerned Jonah's deceit, the use of a tracking device, during their hunt. Esparto, feeling this was a dishonorable method, confronted Jonah, but they were forced to collaborate in their pursuit of Wes. Wes soon detected the tracker hidden in his ruby. Formulating a plan, he decided to divide and conquer, setting up elaborate traps to delay Jonah and Esparto. He utilized a barrel of gasoline and absconded with Jonah's firearm and speedboat. Jonah's gaze fixed on Wes, who was racing towards the border. Concurrently, Esparto confronted Tha and Wen near the riverside. With a determined stare, he challenged Wen to a duel. Though Esparto showcased formidable skills, the tide turned when Tha intervened. Joining forces, the siblings overpowered and defeated Esparto. However, Wes's journey to the border wasn't without challenges. With Jana continually on his tail, Wes was forced into a retreat, evading the relentless gunfire. Jana relentlessly fires shots as Wes quickly ascends to a vantage point, overpowering a slew of Jonah's henchmen in his path. After the intense encounter, Wes eagerly approaches the border bridge, confident in his progress. However, he encounters Jana leisurely waiting for him. Not only is Jonah a menace to Wes, but he's also wreaking havoc on innocent bystanders. Jonah's intent becomes clear when he threatens a child, forcing Wes to surrender. Wes is in possession of Landon's memory card, and has entrusted it to Tha and Win. This doesn't sit well with Jonah, who along with his associate Madden, captures and ross up Wes. In a twisted game, Jonah and Madden summon Myanmar's elite fighters for a lopsided battle against Wes. Surprisingly, Wes thrives in this challenge, quickly subduing the fighters and knocking Madden down with a powerful kick. But Wes isn't finished. He advances towards Jonah, giving him a taste of his own medicine. As Wes contemplates turning the tables, making Jonah the prey, the scene shifts with the general and his forces arriving. Tha intervenes, covertly trading some of Wes's valuable rubies to the general, who then commands his troops to target Jonah. As the dust settles, Tha returns the remaining rubies to Wes, who envisions buying a coastal home. In an unexpected twist, it's Johnny's widow who acquires the beachfront property. Grateful, she writes a letter to Wes, absolving him of any guilt related to Johnny's misfortunes. The story concludes with Wes marrying Tha, and together, they establish a martial arts academy beside a scenic river. If you enjoyed this video, don't be shy to hit the like button, and if you disliked it, hit the dislike button twice, just to be sure. It would be best if you watched the whole movie. Thank you very much for watching.
Please subscribe for more videos like this.